welcome to optical fiber communication playlist here in this session i'll be explaining total internal reflection and how we can utilize total internal reflection in different applications so see total internal reflection that phenomenon happens when ray of light enters from denser medium to rarer medium so one basic condition that is what when ray of light enters from denser medium to rarer medium at that time total internal reflection is possible now let us try to understand this with step by step so it will be more clear <clears throat> now see if i say this is what the surface of medium and here if i say we have medium 1 that is denser medium and this is medium 2 that is rarer medium now if i say this is what the normal to the surface and now here if ray enters from here right and what will happen is like if ray is entering like this and if i say this is what angle of incident i then when ray enters from denser medium to rarer medium angle of refraction that will increase so we will be finding this is what the basic trajectory but here this angle will increase with respect to angle of incident so you'll be finding it will go like this now if i further increase this angle of incident you'll be finding this ray that is bending away from the normal right now at one angle what will happen is like this angle will be parallel to the surface so that angle which is parallel to the surface after having refraction that angle is critical angle so at critical angle you will be finding this angle of refraction that is 90 degree so here at critical angle angle of refraction is 90 degree so when ray enters from denser medium to rarer medium angle of refraction will be greater than angle of incident but at critical angle that angle of refraction that will get to 90 degree that's why that angle of incident that is called as critical angle now see why it is called as an critical angle so to understand that if i have angle great angle of incident greater than critical angle so if angle of incident that is greater than critical angle so in that case you will be finding that ray is getting reflected back so if angle is greater than critical angle that ray will get reflected back into the medium so that's why this angle of incident at 90 degree of angle of refraction is called as critical angle so that should be clear to all what is critical angle critical angle is a angle where angle of refraction is getting 90 degree so let me write that definition what is critical angle so critical angle it is a an angle it when ray enters from denser medium to rarer medium with 
refraction refracted angle refracted angle of 90 degree angle of incident is referred as critical angle so when you have angle of incident such that angle of refract refraction is 90 degree that angle of incident is referred as critical angle and if you increase angle of incident greater than critical angle there will be total internal reflection now see why this is total internal reflection what is total internal reflection so first of all in reflection what happens is like you have surface which is reflective surface one can say it is mirror so in mirror in case of mirror if i say this is mirror and if i say this is normal so in case of mirror what happens is when this light is reflecting from this mirror there will be somewhat energy that is getting absorbed by mirror energy absorbed by mirror and partial energy is reflected by mirror so in case of mirror somewhat energy is getting absorbed here on the surface when signal uh, ray is getting reflected while in case of total internal reflection there will be no absorption of energy total energy that will get back into the medium from where we are inserting the signal so here total signal energy that is getting reflected back as if you provide angle of incident which is greater than critical angle that's why this is what total internal reflection why it is internal the reason is it ray is traveling in the same medium right so ray is traveling in the same medium and there is a reflection and that is what total reflection that's why it is total internal reflection see why total total because of total energy why it is internal it happens in a same medium and if angle is greater than critical angle if angle of incident that is greater than critical angle then there will be there will be reflection so this is what total internal reflection so here there is no absorption of energy on the surface so this should be the clear to all like see in case of total internal reflections there is no absorption of energy while in case of reflection by mirror there is absorption of energy and you will be finding there are so many applications and those applications are used in uh, so many practical real life applications like optical fiber communication so that is what this subject where we use total internal reflection in prism we use total internal reflection you will be finding glittering of diamond so that is what explains you how total internal reflection is happening and now somewhat mathematics that we should know based on this total internal reflection as per snail's law as per snail's law as per snail's law we can say refractive index see here signal enters from denser medium right and that angle is critical if i say that angle is critical angle c so if i say n2 
by n1 right so that will be sine of that medium two angle that is 90 degree and sine of this angle that is critical angle right so this sine 90 that is 1 so this will be 1 divided by sine c so n2 by n1 n2 by n1 that is what relative refractive index of medium 1 right so sorry i have mistaken if i say this is what refractive index n1 sorry n2 for this medium 1 then this is correct so i am considering medium 1's refractive index is 2 and medium 2's refractive index is 1 right in that case one can say n2 by n1 means refractive index of medium 1 divided by refractive index of medium 2 that is sin 90 by sin c as per snail's law so this is what n21 that is n2 divided by n1 and that is 1 by sin c and this is what we can use it to have a calculation of refractive index by using critical angle and here applications are glittering of diamond optical fiber prism so there are so many applications which is what we can use it to have real life solutions by using total internal reflection i hope that you have understood this session please give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll place videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video